Hi, my name's Ben and I'm a spiral trainer. In this video, we're going to see how Quickfire handles multiple choice questions. So let's open a Quickfire. We're going to write in the title of this session and we're going to do a planned question because it's going to be slightly longer. So here's my question I've cut and pasted into. Which hormone helps to maintain the right level of glucose in your blood? A, B, C, or D. So let's launch that and see how it looks on the student pane. So I've already going back into the same class, so the students just have to click on to the code. And we're going to have three students again. Doug, Jane, and Frankie. OK, let's launch this. So here you can see the question comes up on the teacher pane, but also conveniently for the student. So the students know that the answer is B. We'd hope so, but we've got two answers. OK, well, let's see what those answers are. Oh, well, here you can see that B has got two answers, but somebody's answered C. In fact, the answer is B, so we're going to correct that, and ask for the person who answered C to correct their answer and give us the right answer. OK, and now we can see that all three students have answered correctly. We can expand that. And if we want, we can ask them to improve their answer and give us another level of detail, perhaps how it works within the body or whatever the next stage of the level of understanding is for this question. OK, let's finish there. And here you can see the responses, everyone ending up getting it right. Thank you.